Hello good people, it's me Kuma Nawa, your money manager. I'm excited to be back after my four weeks break. If you've been wondering what I've had been all about, please go watch that video. It will even explain to you why this sudden name change from Kuma Itzile Kos Itzile to Kuma Nawa. I am now Kuma Nawa and I'm excited to be back. So today I'm excited to take you through exchange traded funds. ETFs. I'm going to take you through what ETFs are, what is available in Botswana, and I'm going to share with you my first ETF buy. So let's get started into it. What are ETFs? What are exchange traded funds? An exchange traded fund is an investment product that is listed on a stock exchange and it tracks the price of an underlying asset. That underlying asset could be a commodity or it could be an index. And somebody could be asking, what is an index? An index is simply a basket or a group of stocks measured together. Let me try to remind you what an index is. If you are watching BTV News, remember you'll recall that at somewhere at the end of the news where they give you the business news, they always report to you the local index and the foreign company index. Basically, what they are reporting there is they are giving you a price average of all the local listed companies as well as the price average of all the foreign listed companies on a stock exchange. So what they are reporting is they are reporting the daily movement in price of this average price of all the stocks measured together. That's what an index is. And I want to remind you that when you invest, you cannot invest in an index, but rather you can invest in a fund that tracks an index. And you can do that through an exchange traded fund, which is what we are sharing today. Also, what you need to note is that exchange traded funds are considered high risk investment instruments, depending also on the underlying asset that that particular ETF is tracking. The reason why we say that considered high risk is that when you buy today and when you sell in the future, whatever time you'll be selling, there is no guarantee that you are going to get your initial invested capital. When you decide to sell, you will be selling at the prevailing market price of the underlying asset. So if that price has gone up, then good for you. You are going to make money because you could have bought at a low price and now you're going to sell at a high price. But when it happens that when you sell, the prevailing market price has gone down, it means that the value of your investment has gone down when the value of the underlying asset. This is why we say that considered high risk. Please be aware and make sure that if you make a decision to invest in exchange traded funds, they match your risk appetite. So what is available on our local stock exchange? We have four exchange traded funds. Three of them, they do track price of commodities. We have new gold, we have new palladium, we have new platinum, and we have one ETF that tracks the price of African bond index. African bond index is a basket of over 400 African bonds. So this one, it tracks the price of an index and the other three, they track the price of underlying commodities. New gold will track the price of gold bullion. So that's what you need to understand about exchange traded funds. So let me share with you my current buy. As you know that I'm pull cost averaging on a monthly basis, meaning that I do have 3000 that I've set on my budget that I do send to my stock broker on a monthly basis to buy me shares in different companies that I have selected. So in the month of May, I decided not to buy individual companies, but rather I decided to buy an exchange traded fund, particularly gold. Somebody would ask me, why are you buying gold? I've always wanted to have to invest in gold but i do understand the restrictions that come with that that i cannot invest in physical gold here locally in botswana even in many other jurisdictions you cannot invest in physical gold so I decided that I wanted exposure in gold and there's an instrument that is listed on a stock exchange that can give me that exposure to gold and that is 
the new gold so i bought the new gold i sent three thousand to my broker so that three thousand got me nine units at a unit price of 302 bula 30. so that is going to be a total of nine units multiplied by 302.30 that is a total of 2720 bula 70. it doesn't stop there every time you buy and sell there are going to be some associated fees that you are going to pay how much did i pay in fees i paid a total of 64 bula 60. that will give me a total investment of 2794 bula 34 kebe so what exactly is that what are nine units so what you need to understand is that they have broken down this investment into small units such that me and you can afford it a unit represents one over 100 ounce of gold if i were to buy an ounce of gold i cannot afford it myself currently an ounce of gold is trading at two thousand three hundred and fifty seven dollars that's a lot of money if you convert that to pula i've converted that to pula using the current b bw us dollar exchange rate of 0 0.0731 that is giving me thirty two thousand two hundred and fifty four pula 45 tebe just an ounce of gold so it means that just based on that price i cannot even afford an ounce of gold but rather now the exchange traded fund has broken it down into very small units such that i can afford it at just over 300 pula per unit somebody would ask me what exactly do you hope to achieve by investing in new gold for me is I always say that, you know, before you can make any investment decision, you need to have an end goal in mind. Why are you putting your money into this instrument? What exactly do you want to achieve? So for me, I'm experimenting with maybe using this instrument to create a college fund for my kids because we'll never know what will happen in the future. So rather I'll say, let me start having a gold exposure such that maybe in 10 years, I still have 10 years for me to accumulate and to create value such that when there is need for me to pay college fees, in the future, I will liquidate, liquidating meaning that I will sell some of the units that I own to get money. Why gold? Gold has demonstrated that as one of the resilient store of value and is one of the inflation baiting instruments. When currencies and everything else is going down, gold is always going in opposite direction and it's always going up. I am buying and holding at the current price with the belief that as the price of gold is going up, I will stand to make my money in the future. I am taking a long-term view on gold that it will continue rising in price, such that in 10 years, when I want my money back, I will be able to sell my units at a higher price and get more money than I initially invested this is how simple it can be i hope that i've simplified it for all of us to understand this is all that i wanted to share with you please let's continue learning together please don't forget to leave a like and a comment for me thank you so much for your time i will see you in another video bye